We need help. We need a lot of help. We need training. We need equipment. We need support. And we need allies. And when it comes down to it, the United Colonies are the natural choice. They've got a pretty good reason to dislike the Starborn as it is. I mean, let's face it. One single Starborn just trashed New Atlantis. So I think it's time to talk to them. Yeah. That's right. I am going to go and enlist. Again. If we can avoid entering that building, I would prefer it. Let us just say I am allergic to bureaucracy. Oh, right, of course. I should have thought of that. What you are going to be pretty uncomfortable in there for some fairly obvious reasons. Right, I don't know how long I'm going to be in there, so I'm thinking maybe you just go back to the lodge, hang out a little, and I'll swing by and pick you up later, yeah? You will be lost without me, but as you wish. Okay. That almost felt playful. <laughs> Maybe I should bring Moera along here. Hi, remember me? Hey, Sarah's friend. You come to a list yeah. at long last? Start earning your stripes with the Vanguard? Yeah. Probably should tell you about Sarah, but... Okay. What exactly is the Vanguard? We're the United Colonies Volunteer Fleet. Any captain can join, regardless of origin. Get to fly your own ship and earn credits as you help the people in the most distant reaches of the United Colonies, all while earning your way to UC citizenship. Put in the time, and citizenship is guaranteed. Okay. And why would I want to be a UC citizen? I mean, it's very nice and everything, but are there any specifics? Well... Other than becoming a member of the greatest faction in the galaxy, you'd get access to discounted services on any UC world. Credits to help you get on your feet. You'd even be able to buy property right here in New Atlantis. Citizenship unlocks it all. And signing up for the Vanguard is the fastest way to earn it. Good sell. What sort of work would I be doing if I enlisted? Vanguard work is as needed. When we've got jobs, we'll make them available to you. But the work itself, well, it runs the gamut. Sometimes you might be hunting down hostile ships on behalf of the UC Navy, or you might be called up to help the Science Division clean up some invasive species. Hell, we've even been asked to help take on the occasional Terramorph. And sometimes we just need cargo support. Not every job's glamorous. The Vanguard only gets called in for the ones where there's a chance of seeing action. Wherever the UC needs us, the Vanguard is there. Okay. And, out of curiosity, would we have access to, you know, UC Vanguard supplies, ship parts, etc.? Because that would be useful. All right. I'm in. What do I need to do next? Well, all right. Take the elevator down to the Vanguard Orientation Hall. You can get started at any of the registration terminals. The system will walk you through the rest. And if you've got any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Vanguard orientation. Okay. And there we are. Recruit registration. Hello? Oh. You enlisting too? I've always wanted to live in New Atlantis, but they only let citizens buy property, so here I am. Re okay, so we just register here. All right. To register for your examination, please select Enlistment Agreement. Any outstanding UC bounty must be paid before proceeding. I've got no bounty. Enlistment Agreement. I... <laughs> 
Malcolm M. Amundsen agree. That was it. Okay. Low bar to pass. You may proceed to the examination chamber through the orientation hall. Okay. Welcome, Malcolm Amundsen. Please proceed through the orientation hall to the examination chamber. Registration accepted. You may now proceed through the historical displays in the orientation hall or continue on to the examination. Yeah. Tough application process right there. The end of Earth. Okay. Is this how it happened? I was semi expecting a voiceover to give me a, you know. Okay. This is Earth how it used to look. Yeah, wow. Okay. New factions rise. No labels, though. Okay. House Varun. Uh huh. And the Freestar Collective? Yeah. Interesting outfits. What's this? The Narian War. The history of the Narian War. Beginning in 2196, the Narian War, humanity's first large-scale conflict among the stars, is remembered as, def as a defining moment for the settled systems. As the first major conflict to make extensive use of grav-jump enabled ships, the Narian War was less defined by key space battles and more by an extended cat-and-mouse interplay between the two powers, as well as the well-armed and professional UC Navy tried again and again to pin down the piecemeal but savvy fleets, uh, Freestar fleet. Unable to strike the killing blow, the UC resorted to ever more severe tactics to try and drive the Collective to capitulate, but without success. That was surprisingly honest. In fact, after many long years of war with little to show for it, even the populace of the UC itself began to turn against the cause, with protests roiling even in New Atlantis. The citizenry demanded that the war finally come to a humane close. So, when at long last the final blow was struck, with the UC Navy finally cornering and obliterating the Freestar fleet in 2216, it was a hollow victory. It was from the resulting negotiations, the Treaty of Narion, that the settled systems as we know them today emerged, both literally and figuratively. Despite winning the war, the UC found themselves in an unenviable position, painted as a brutal aggressor even in their home systems. So, in the spirit of unity and lasting peace, the UC agreed to the demands of the Freestar Collective and the Narian settlers whose collusion triggered the conflict in the first place, and handed over Narian to the Collective, as they had requested at the start of hostilities, including the Clinic Medical Star Station creating the Freestar Collective as we know it to this day. In return, the UC demanded two concessions. The first was payment for damages done in the form of mineral rights on multiple worlds across the galaxy. The second, more significant demand, was that no great faction may ever colonize more than three systems. The UC would have Alpha Centauri, Sol and Wolf, and the Freestar Collective Kayan, Volai, and Narion. The Freestar Collective agreed to these terms, creating and codifying into law the settled systems as we know them today. The Treaty of Narion has since become the foundation of all contemporary political relations, and its own its only official violation, the cause of the galaxy's greatest conflict, the Colony War. To learn more about the Colony War, please proceed to the Conflict Among the Stars mural. So three each. I mean, there's a lot of systems out there for other people to expand into. And where there are places to expand into, people, much like gases, will do so. Hmm. Maybe they should have 
come up with a slightly more complicated agreement, but one that involved potential for expansion, but within acceptable boundaries for both parties. Conflict among the... Did I miss... Did I miss something in the first... Did I miss... I must have missed something. I must have missed... I missed a giant bloody button, didn't I? I, I missed a giant bloody button. In 2050, humanity learned the Earth's magnetosphere would collapse sometime in the next half century, eliminating all life on the planet. Decisive action was required, but the secure transport of an entire civilization would demand a new kind of cooperation, a new kind of courage, and a new kind of union. Okay. Thus, in 2159, the United Colonies were formed to make that journey possible. Just one year later, the Galileo, the first of many colony ships, touched down here on Jemison, beginning a new era of human history, the age of the United Colonies. Okay. And more buttons. Was there a terminal for me to read in here, though? Just buttons to press. Buttons to press and a seat to sit upon. Okay. From their foundation, the United Colonies strove to provide all their citizens with opportunity, security, and peace. But there were those among the UC that still wanted something more. Independence. So in 2161, the UC issued the Centaurus Proclamation, granting UC citizens the right to settle distant worlds and form their own sovereign powers. It wasn't long before the first new faction, the Free Star Collective, was formally organized in 2188, later followed by House Varun, revealing themselves to the universe in 2230. Okay, so the idea was probably to let independents, yeah, probably to let independents expand out whilst the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective stayed on a limited number of worlds to limit both organizations' powers. Okay. Beginning in 2240. House Varun forces declared all-out war on the rest of human civilization, initiating the Serpent's Crusade. Okay. For the next 23 years, thousands of Freestar, UC, and independent souls were killed by agents of House Varun in the name of their Serpent God. It was only okay. with the death of their founder in 2263 and the succession of his heir, Jarek, that House Varun finally sued for peace. There remained, however, select members of House Varun who refused to recognize the cessation of hostilities their leaders established. Even after House Varun's mysterious disappearance, these zealots remain a threat to all who encounter them. Their pacification a goal of all space. Yeah, kinda glad Andresia is not with me. I'm a little worried that she does still seem to be a believer, but I feel like she must have doubts because, well, she hasn't reported the artifacts and she told me. Well, I'm assuming she told me the truth, but she's no reason to invent uh, that lie, or even tell me a half-truth. She could have just said absolutely nothing. Conflict among the stars. I feel like maybe I should have come here a little uh, earlier. Yeah. This is kind of a cool place. They should open this up to non-recruits. Just general history buffs. Or conflicts between the galaxy's factions. History None curious. was more brutal than the recent colony war between the UC and the Freestar Collective. 
set off by the unauthorized Free Star colonization of Vesta's pride in 2308, a direct violation of the Nereon Treaty, the colony war spread quickly across the galaxy. Sides deployed every tool at their disposal. Armadas of warships, mechanized combat platforms, or mechs. Even bioengineered alien creatures. The infamous UC Xeno weapons. It was only in 2311 at the Battle of Cheyenne that the scales finally tipped. The Free Star Collective, utilizing their civilian fleet as a human shield, successfully crippled the superior United Colonies Navy. After their propagandistic shock victory against the galaxy's greatest navy, the Free Star Collective offered terms of peace, which the colonies, out of an interest in staving off any further human costs, accepted. The galaxy has been rebuilding ever since. Right, this is why mech parts and Xeno warfare is, uh, well, outlawed. Few settled worlds were left untouched by the colony war. But nowhere could the viciousness of modern warfare be seen more clearly than on the free star planet of Nera. Initially occupied by invading United Colonies forces as a forward operating position, repeated attempts to take and retake the planet by collective forces led only to devastation. Swaths of the world were transformed into scorched husks, a nightmarish testament to the depths of human ingenuity and human cruelty. And today, Nera remains a continuing reminder to the horrors of unfettered war. It's odd. I'm getting a, a feeling of propaganda, but also sometimes occasional brutal honesty. Hmm. Is this the Terramorph? I've fought a few of them, but honestly... I've never really... Looked at them very closely. Yeah, that is pretty terrifying. The Terror of Londinium. In the midst of the colony war, a different kind of tragedy struck the UC city of Londinium. A newly constructed but critical supply center for the United Colonies war effort. Londinian found itself overrun by one of the galaxy's most mysterious predators, the Terramorph. A rare but pervasive threat to all human settled worlds, Terramorphs swept over the city, seemingly out of nowhere, on a scale never before seen in recorded history. Valiant efforts by the UC military slowed the onslaught, but the creatures proved unstoppable. Ultimately, the decision was made to destroy the Londinian spaceport, sealing off the city, the outbreak, and its citizenry from the galaxy at large. The tragedy of Londinian is mourned by the UC to this day. Yeah. Right. This does explain rather a lot, doesn't it? The armistice. The peace. After the devastation wrought by the colony war, the UC and the Free Star Collective came together to ratify a treaty that became known as the Armistice. Both sides agreed to a vast reduction in standing forces and that Xeno weapons and mech warfare would be outlawed. Yep. All related research was sealed away, accessible only in cases of dire emergency. But the Collective had another demand, that the active commanders of the UC military stand trial for their actions. The United Colonies, in the interest of peace and galactic security, agreed. In 2311, three United Colony senior officers were found guilty. Commander Henry Durant, 
General Indira Rastogi and Fleet Admiral Francois Senon, known better as Ve Victus. All were sentenced to death for their actions, bringing the colony war to a close and returning peace to the galaxy at long last. I was going to say this is normally where the lights get turned off. Okay. By order of the Armistice, Article 1361A, there shall... Okay. There shall be established a central archive guarded by three parties, the Free Star Collective, House Varun, and United Colonies, for the collection and protection of all knowledge, research, and documentation depicting, describing or in any way related to technologies and mechanisms banned by this armistice. It shall be governed by the following laws. Access to all information in this archive will be mutually managed by all three parties. Access is only permitted by unanimous agreement of unauthorized factional representatives. Two, the facility will be under the direct control of no sovereign faction, with no single party permitted to overrule the others. All decisions regarding matters pertaining to the archives must be unanimous. Any attempt at unauthorized access will be considered an act of aggression against all parties. Each party commits to defend the others against any such attempts. If you have any questions, please contact Mast Public Relations Desk. Okay, I've got questions, but I doubt they'll get answered. Okay. Vanguard is born. The Vanguard is born. Okay. It was into this new world that the Vanguard was born. An official branch of the UC Navy, the Vanguard is the United Colonies Volunteer Fleet serving a myriad of security, logistical, and reconnaissance roles. And after a sufficient length of service, UC citizenship is guaranteed to every Vanguard member. Open to all captains, regardless of origin, the Vanguard is leading the charge to protect and support the citizens of the United Colonies, wherever in the galaxy they may be. Okay. I feel obliged to wait for the lights to go off. Right. I'm guessing that's the uniform. Yep. Okay. Is it, is it wrong that I'm looking here thinking, my ship's bigger? It, it's very wrong. It's terribly wrong. No one is born a United Colony citizen. Only through service to the UC can one hope to earn one citizenship. But the UC prides itself on taking care of its people. Cost of living controls mean citizens pay less than their foreign counterparts for needs big and small. All citizens are issued a grant upon joining to get themselves on their feet. And only UC citizens have the opportunity to purchase property, getting the chance to live in one of the most beautiful cities in the settled systems. By joining the, the Vanguard today, you too can begin earning your place here in the heart of galactic civilization as a citizen of the United Colonies. One of the big differences between the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective, I guess. Free Star Collective, you can get property. You don't need to be a citizen. Oh, all right, I'm heading to Piloting Simulator. All right. I'm now slightly worried that I've missed something. Can I? I can come back later and do the sightseeing anyway, right? Some ships, getting some ideas here, maybe. 
Yeah. Quite like the look. You know what? That's... Ooh. I'm feeling the need to make another ship. You see, I don't want to mess the hopper up too much. Just enhance it. But honestly, I'm thinking a ship with cockpit at the front. And maybe some other, you know, official things there as well. And then at the back, have the passenger stroke crew area. I also fancy a flat ship. I'm fed up of ladders. I'm really fed up of ladders. Like a ship where you just go in and then everything's on one level. We need to invent stairs for spaceships. Death. Welcome, applicant, to the piloting simulation chamber. Please enter the designated simulation pod to initiate your exam. I've got an exam. Oh, God, I've got to fly straight. Hi! Whoa! Hi, hello, hello, hello. The realism catches a lot of people off guard, but you're perfectly safe in there. Okay. Our simulators are cutting edge. <laughs> At the rate the tech's coming along, we're not even going to need pilots for much longer. Well, that's depressing. All right. Authorized personnel only. I believe I'm authorized. Hello? Ah, you must be our new applicant. I'm Proctor Samuelson. The simulator's already been prepped. You can head in whenever you're ready. Uh, piloting isn't my area of expertise. How about you just mark me down as a pass and I head out? What? Okay, what kind of ship am I going to be flying in this simulation? The simulator is designed to be a near-perfect replica of a Class B Deimos hoplite. The Class United B. Colony's standard destroyer model. Okay. It's been tuned to provide a challenging but fair fight against the enemy squadrons you'll encounter inside. Okay. Any advice on how to do well? Well, I can't answer that question directly. I will say this. Due to the solitary nature of our work, resourcefulness is a critical tool in any Vanguard pilot's repertoire. You're permitted, even encouraged, to use whatever tool you're able to find in there. Okay. Tell me about the exam, then. Of course. You'll be running through a high-realism combat flight simulation, engineered by members of the UC science staff, right here in MAST. Your task is to defeat at least three tiers of simulated opponents. Accomplish that, and you pass the exam, and can then proceed on to your probationary mission. However, if you defeat more than three tiers of enemies, your required enlistment time for citizenship will be reduced, and your enlistment bonus increased. But you're welcome to try as many times as you like before returning to Commander Tuwala, Proceed on to really? the next step in your application process. We'll only keep the highest score you manage to achieve in there. As much time as I like. Do you have a coffee machine? Okay. Let's... Do this. Okay. This is the Mark 18 Flight Simulation Chamber applicant, currently in orbit around a high-detail recreation of a remote world. When you're ready to begin, please take a seat in the pilot's chair. Whoa, dude, do you mind if I just check the controls? Debug tools, please proceed to the pilot seat to initiate the sequence. Debug tools. Debug tools are only available once targets are active. Please enter the pilot seat to begin. Okay, okay, okay. Just, you know. Now, it was a B-class. You're simulating a B-class? That kind of means that all applicants must be reasonable pilots, I guess. Okay. It's smaller than mine. Your exam is simple. Defeat as many tiers of opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. You must defeat at least three tiers of opponents to pass the exam. Good hunting, okay. applicant. Right... So, full power to engines. Oh, whoa, I'll tell you what. New targets active. And shields. Okay. okay. Okay, well. Are there, are there no other enemies? Right. Lasers. A really very low... Re oh, I've got to remember, I am not using particle beam weapons now. 
This is going to require a slight adjustment on my part. Okay. Should I maybe... I'm, I'm wondering whether... No, missiles are probably still good. Probably still good. Alright, you know what? Focus, focus, focus. 3,000. 3,000. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go for this one. Locking. Boosting away. Breaking. Okay, don't loot. I, I see things there and I just kind of want to loot them. Do I have any ship parts? Do I have any ship parts? I can lock on. I'm preparing. You know what? Okay, I do have some repair parts. I do have some repair parts. Right. So, grab drive is down. Oh, missiles are locked on. I am not doing well. Not doing well. Okay, no, I am going to fail. I'm actually... You've been defeated, applicant. You may ah! need a reset of your current tier at the terminal inside the cockpit. Or stay oh! outside and take a break. Whoa. Okay. No, that's not doing anything. Alright, am I still able to go? It didn't I didn't step out and reset it. I'm I'm Hold tab to I that's, that's not they're doing that's not doing anything. That's not doing anything. I'm gonna shoot you. That is not doing anything. I'm holding the tab. Not doing anything. I'm gonna stand up. Okay, so stand up to stop it. Just, just. Why are you lying to me? Why are you lying to me? Don't lie to me. Is this part of the test? Detect people who are lying. Okay. Restart current tier. Yes. This is where I'm thinking maybe I need to invest in my piloting skills. I've got two. Oh, I can't... Oh, I, I can't actually invest in my piloting skills. Can I step out and do that? Thing is, I've got two points I could invest in something like shields, but I'm saving them for sh um, ship engineering. Because I think two points in ship engineering gets me more than one rank in shields, one rank in particle beam, one rank in electromagnetic weapons, and four ranks in that a neutronic fusion skill. Basically, it lets me get better weapons and a reactor that gives five more power. So I'm reluctant to spend any skill points there anyway. All right, we're just going to keep doing this. All right. I want engines. Maybe, maybe just a mixture of lasers and ballistics. A bit more in the middle. All right. And... Okay. What, what distance are we? Way too far. Way too far. Locking. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Boost. To get away from his missiles. Whoa, okay. That's my shield's gone. I do not like this ship. I do not like this ship. Okay. All right. Too far away. They can shoot me. They've got particle beams. Yeah, I'm... Okay. Probably should do some locking on. Okay, okay, that's better, that's better, that's better. Where, where, oh god, he's hitting me, he's hitting me. Just 
keep laying into him. All right. Okay, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I'm going to stay close to the asteroids so I can use them for cover if the need. Oh no, that's too far, too far, too far. Just. Come on, let's get this one. Let's get closer and. Come on. Okay. It's one behind me. Enemies locking on with his. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's not going to go well. Okay, so the weapons I'm using are very different to my usual loadout, which is... And... Whoa, those seem way faster than my ship as well. Sorry, yeah, yeah, definitely. Got him! Do I have any more repair? No, I do not. Is there any? Congratulations, applicant. You've defeated sufficient opponents to pass the exam. You may Sold that. The simulator through the hatch to record your current score. Not a chance. Staying and remaining. I'm gonna be in here till I absolutely ace everything. So just you better get abandoned station. That's all right, my hull's repaired itself. Resuming the examination. The All right. Where? Okay, see, they are able to shoot me from a mile away. Come on, hitting with everything. All right, I need more power, don't I? I need more power in... Engines and I say ballistics. Go ballistics. Get some hull repairs. No. You have passed, applicant. You may proceed to the exit hatch to log your results, or restart the exam from the simulation's control terminal. Restarting. Restarting. Absolutely. Let me stand up, please. Okay. So I can't check what. Or grav Why is the grav drop? I can't check the ship to see what it's got, but I'm, it's got lasers and ballistics. I'm assuming 1,000 meters. But they definitely seem to have... Okay. Well, they've got... Ballist... I'm um, sorry, particle weapons by the looks of things. And I'm just going to get utterly obliterated. Yep, yep. All right, so I'm going to have to dogfight them in a ship that's way slower than I'm used to. Am I hitting them? I am hitting them. I just got crushed on the first tier by a level 44. Wait a minute. Tier 4 simulated ship? Oh. Oh, is this not tier 1? Oh, I thought when you said I reset them, it resets at tier 1. I thought it reset at tier 1. I have to go through the... I was going to say, wow. Wow. I just failed, right? No, 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 no. I am, I am going as far as possible in a ship that sucks with terrible weapons, not very much mobility against opponents with way better stuff than I've got. And I'm going to get the better of them. If it kills us both of old age. So brace yourself out there. Reset. Prepare for your first opponent. 
All right. I'm still thinking missiles are the only thing that's going to get any damage at a distance. New targets active. And... Front... Oh, wait, okay. <laughs> If I hit him in the shields... Whoa, get some repairs going. Okay, he's flying a lunchbox. He's definitely flying a lunchbox. Alright, okay. Um, I tell you what, no, no, don't hit the shields. Hit... Hit his whole weapons. Hit his whole weapons. Got it! Yes! Tier five. Yes! How many tears have you got, mate? How many tears have you got? Cry me some tears. Because you will be. Alright, okay. Your target's active. Oh, God, there's a lot of them. What? What? Okay, he's... Whoaing! Whoaing! Like... Give me some repairs! Get... Oh, they're going to start shooting. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? You have passed, applicant. You may proceed to the exit hatch to log your results. Or restart the exam from the simulation's control terminal. It's like you're not listening to me. Okay, let's... Got to get closer. Got to get closer. Got to get closer. Come on, come on, come on. I'm a lock in. I'm a lock in. I'm a lock in. Oh, that's no, locking, not locked. I'm too far away to do anything other than missiles, I think. Oh, no, I'm not. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are these weapons... Are these weapons actually longer range than the ones I'm used to? Have I been assuming I need to get that close when I didn't? Let's turn, 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 turn. Go backwards, but... Maybe... Whoa, you're getting creamed, you're getting creamed. Come on, get get behind, get behind. No, 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 no. You need an you needed an asteroid. Oh my god, you've got no chance. Come on. Oh, I've got no engines, that's why. Oh, I'm so very dead, aren't I? You have passed No, I've not passed! Okay, maybe just a little less energy in engines this time. Not even sure shields up. Alright, let's just... Let's just go. Can't, you know? Let's see how that goes with this one. So, Alright, come on. Probably. Well, who's shooting me? All sodding ready. Okay, boosted away, but that's... Okay, okay. <laughs> you may proceed to the exit hatch to log okay. your results. Low engine's not a good idea. Didn't think it would be, but yeah. Okay. Let's just get in there. Lock. Get a lock. Lose a lock. Multing simulation. You have passed, applicant. You may proceed to the exit hatch to log your results. Or restart the exam from the simulation's control terminal. I really hate that guy. Okay. Oh, he said, use all the tools available to you, yeah? Oh, God, that's... I thought maybe I could blow this up and get something. Wait, wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, probably just annoyed the space station and they're now shooting at me. All right, what, 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 what? Come on. Okay. No, 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 no. Come on! Oh, 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 oh. Whoa! No! No, 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 no! Okay, this is the longest I've been alive here. Come on! Oh! Oh! <laughs> I told you it was going to be a long night for you, didn't I? Didn't I tell you? I, 
you should contact your family, your children, anyone you've ever known, and wish them farewell. You are going to die of old age in here. <sighs> okay. Restart current tip. What happened with the debug mode? Debug tool. Ah. Shield upgrade available for tier one. Damage upgrade available for tier. Quick question. Generate ally. One of the. Okay. So so so. Whoa 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 whoa. Allied ship is now active. Generate ally. Deploy. Am I going to get in trouble if I hack this? He said in... No, didn't they say ingenuity? Didn't he say use all the tools available to you? He did. I'm going to cheat. Because I feel like they're cheating. I feel like they are definitely cheating. Let's have a look-see. Infinite upgrades persist between tiers. <gasps> All upgrades will now persist between tiers. Infinite upgrades active. Shield upgrade. Deploy. Damage upgrade. Deploy. Generate ally. Deploy. Oh, okay. okay. I'm still going to get my ass kicked, aren't I? I'm good. All right. All right. <laughs> Stop giving me power to my grav drive, though. What are you doing? All right. All right. Hmm. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? No, no, no. Let, get, get, get the lock in. Get the... Come on! Repair! One dead! Repair, repair! Where's my ally? Where is my ally? Where is my ally? Am I damaging? I am! I've got... Let's just destroy the ballista. Whoa. No, 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 no. Still doing badly. Still doing badly. Where's my ally? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Where is my ally? Oh, even cheating, I'm getting my backside handed to me. Oh, it is hitting. It is hitting them. Oh. You have passed, applicant. You may proceed to the exit hatch to log your results or restart the exam from the simulation's control terminal. Would you like to take a wild stab in the dark as to which I'm going to do? Okay, it says the ally is deployed, but the last... The last couple of runs, it's not deployed. Come on, give me an ally. I'm supposed to have an ally. I realize I'm not supposed to have an ally, and I'm cheating. Simulation reset. But in my defense, you started it. Alright, you know what, um, let's just have a little less shields and just go a little bit more, oh. right, let's just focus now, focus, 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 okay, oh, let's go for you, locking, oh god, I'm already, oh, I'm already in absolute trouble, aren't I, oh, Fine. You beat me. You beat me. And I'm not happy about it. Continue current when it... Do you wish to leave the simulator? Your current passing score will be recorded, but all progress in the simulator will be lost. Enemy tears defeated. Four of... 
<laughs> why won't you give me... Why? Why? Why won't you give me... I've... I've... I mean, granted, yes, I know it's cheating, but you said use any and all. Shield upgrade, active, generate ally, all available allies dip. Oh. Have I used them up? Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying? I've used them up? I have no more allies to get. <sighs> it's just... I'm going to be a four of six. I don't want to be a four of six. Uh, no, I need engines. I get completely, completely creamed without the mobility. Okay. Come on. Whoa. Okay, okay. No, they're still on me, they're still on me, they're still on me. Oh, no, I'm already dead. I am already dead. Repair, repair, repair. Can I get one ship? Ah! No, no, come on. I don't care. Don't. No. 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 No.